Following our order of operations, let's start with P, which stands for parentheses. So we will start with this entire chunk right here before we distribute that to. Let's start from left to right. We will start with our x squared like terms. So anything that has an x squared attached to it, we can combine those because they are like terms. 8x squared, negative 12x squared, and negative 4x squared. Let's start by combining those negatives. Negative 12 plus negative 4 will give us negative 16. So we'd have 8x squared minus 16x squared. That will give us 8. The biggest number carries the sign. 16 is the bigger number here, so it's going to be a negative 8x squared. So the beginning of our simplified expression would look like this. We'd have the 2 on the outside of the parentheses and then a negative 8x squared right at the front with all of the rest of our simplified uh, numbers to come. Now we can take a quick second because this test is all about doing these problems as fast as you possibly can. Let's take a second to look through our answer choices and see if we can predict which one might be correct or which ones are definitely wrong. If we were to complete the final step of this problem early where we would distribute that 2 into the parentheses, the final result of this first term in our polynomial would be 16x squared, 2 times 8x squared negative. So that means that c is incorrect because it doesn't have negative 16x squared, and d is incorrect because it doesn't have negative 16x squared. And looking between answer choice a and b, the only discernible difference is the sign of the last number in the polynomial. So for the sake of time, let's skip simplifying these two terms and go straight to simplifying the negative 7 and negative 14. So here we are combining negative 14 plus negative 7. Um, adding two negative numbers together is just like regular addition, but it will stay negative. So 7 plus 14 gives us 21. It stays negative. So at the end of our simplified expression, we would have a negative 21. And then our final step would be to multiply it by 2. But we don't need to do that multiplication because we know that the sign is still going to stay negative, which means A is our correct answer over B because it has that negative sign on its final uh, number in the polynomial. If you were taking the real test, at that point you could mark A as your correct answer and move on without having to do any more math. However, for the sake of the video, if you'd like to stick around, I will solve the entire problem so that you can see exactly how it works. Let's go back and simplify our last two like terms, 2x and 5x. 2 plus 5 will give us 7x, so that will be our middle number of our polynomial. And now we can do the distributive property. We already did the first step of distributive property. The second step, 2 times 7, would give us positive 14x. And then 2 times negative 21 would give us negative 42. Again, matching answer choice A.